Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial where I will show you how to quickly and easily leverage trade cryptocurrencies on the MEXC trading platform. If you want to create an account on MEXC you can simply go down to the video description, click on the link and then you will get to exactly this page right here and then you can follow all the steps along. They also always have pretty nice bonuses available that you can pick up. As you can see if we go down here for some simple things that you can do you can receive these nice bonuses so there are many of them. So if you use the link from the video description you will get here, you can create an account, your eligible for the bonuses and you're ready to go. Once you have created an account and you log in for the first time, the page will look like this. So now I want to show you how you can actually deposit money to your account. And to do that, we simply go up here to our wallet and then we click on overview. Here we can see all of our balances that we have on our account. As you can see right now, I only have US dollar tether deposited, but of course you can deposit any cryptocurrency you would like. And to deposit, you simply go up here and click on deposit. Right here on the left side, you can select the token that you want to deposit. So you can simply click down here. And then as you can see, there are all of these different currencies that you can deposit. For example, you can click on Bitcoin right here. Then you can select your network that you want to use. So obviously you can always use the normal Bitcoin um, network. Then you have your address right here. You can copy that to your clipboard and then send Bitcoin to this address. Or you can also use, for example, one of these other um, networks. Of course, you always have to check if from the other exchange or from your wallet, which you're sending the money, that they also support the same network. And that's just how it works for any other currency. So if we go, for example, for US dollar Tether, there you have many different um, networks that are available, ERC20, for example, but they often have higher fees. So I mostly prefer to use the Tron network, ERC20, there you have very low fees. And then you can simply copy your address down here and then send money from your wallet or your other exchange to MEXC. The second option that I also wanna show you is how you can deposit with fiat money. So US dollar or Euro or any other fiat currency. And there you simply go up here to the left top and then you click on buy crypto and then you click right here on credit slash debit card. Then you will get to this page right here and now you can use a third party service to deposit with your fiat money right here. They also they don't only support Visa or MasterCard or a credit card. You can also use, for example, your bank card or for example, Apple Pay. If you choose right here, you can see there are different um, service providers that you can use. Let's play, for example, here you can choose your fiat currency. Uh, so in this case, let's go, for example, for you could use US dollar or in this case, let's click on Euro. Then you can say what currency you would like to, to have right here. Obviously, you can deposit whatever you want, for example, US dollar tether, and then later on you can exchange that for any currency you want to have on the platform. In this case, let's just go for Bitcoin. And here we can now type in the amount of euro we want to deposit. For example, let's let's type in 500 euro. And then as you can see, that's the amount of Bitcoin we're getting. And then we can choose a service provider. Here you can choose between all of these. All of them support Visa and MasterCard and Apple Pay. Some of them also support a normal bank card card or Google Pay, for example, down here. In this case, let's choose Banksa, for example, but you can check uh, them out and it doesn't really matter which one you want to use. Then we can simply click down here on Buy BTC. We have to accept the terms and then click on Confirm. And then, as you can see, we are getting redirected to Banksa, to the third party platform. And then here we can again select the payment method we want to use, for example, a SEPA bank transfer or Visa or MasterCard or Apple Pay. As you can see, they have a little bit of higher fees but whichever one you want to, to choose and then you can just click on create order and then go through the process. All right, so once you have made any deposit, you can simply check that by going up here back to your wallet and click on overview and then you can see if the money has already arrived. A crypto transfer is usually really fast. It can take up to maybe let's say an hour and fiat deposits depends on the method you're using. Here it can take up to a few days. All right, so once you've made the purchase, we can now start with the trading. So the first thing you have to do if you never um, used the leverage trading platform on MEXC, um, simply just go up here to derivatives and then click on futures just so you can open your futures account because otherwise you're not able to transfer um, your money to your futures account. So just go there, just click on OK, agree and then run through the process. So you have your account created, it only takes like 10 seconds and then you can go back right here to your wallet and now we can actually transfer the money from our spot account to our futures account. I already did that so I can go up here now to transfer and then I can select from my spot account, I want to transfer money to my futures account. And then I can select the coin I want to transfer. I would recommend you just use US dollar tether because with US dollar tether, you can trade any cryptocurrency, but you could also use, for example, Bitcoin and then trade Bitcoin with your Bitcoin. In my case, I'm just gonna choose US dollar tether and now I can type in the amount I want to transfer. So in this case, I could go, for example, for 
let's say uh, 150 US dollar tether. And then I can click on transfer now down here just for demonstration. Now we have to wait a little bit. And now I refresh the page. And now you can see that I have the $150 on my futures account. I can also click here. And then I can see that the money is now right here on my futures account. All right, so now we can actually go into the trading platforms. And to do that, we go up here to derivatives and then click on futures. Then we get to this page right here. It might look a little bit complicated at the beginning, but actually we're gonna run through all the different elements we have right here. So it's actually pretty simple and we are gonna explain everything. All right, so first let's start off with this section right here. This is actually where we can choose the trading pair that we want to trade. So as you can see right now, there's like, some uh, coin right now selected right here, but I have many different options. So we have two different options here. We have US dollar tether M futures and coin M futures. Th the difference is if you have US dollar tether deposited, you simply are gonna select right here US dollar tether, and then you can choose between all these different trading pairs that you can see right here. They are all with US dollar tether. If you have, for example, Bitcoin or Ethereum deposit, you can also choose one of these two and then trade Bitcoin with your Bitcoin or Ethereum with your Ethereum. In my case, I just wanna trade Bitcoin. So I'm just gonna go up here and type in B BTC and there is the one that's the one I want to choose so I'm just going to click on it and then as you can see it now switched over to Bitcoin right here. This section right here is the price chart um, as you can see there are some elements that we don't actually need so we can just get rid of that and if you go to FX right here you can also get rid of the moving averages and the volume so now it's more it's very clean and we can just see the price chart right here. You can of course also switch up here um, to for example, the hourly candles, the one day candles. So whichever one you would like. In this case, I'm just gonna go back to the 50 minutes so we can actually see more what's going on right here in the price chart. Right here on the right side, we can see the order book. So we can see all the selling orders up here in the market right now and all the buying orders in the market we can see down here. If we actually scroll down a little bit, we can see all of the recent trades that are happening right here and down here this is also a very important section this is actually where we can see all of our positions that we have opened where we can we'll take a look in in just a bit and we can see for example our take profit and stop loss we can see um, our history our order history our position history so that's something very useful but we will get into that in just a bit right here on the right side this is actually where we can control all of our trades so we can also for example see our balances right here in this case i have these 150 dollars deposited to my trading account to my futures account that i can use right now we could for example set down here a risk limit if you want to do so and up here this is the important section where we can now execute our trades all right so let's actually open a position right now up here you can set for example in this case we want to open a position not close and then we can set our leverage um, so you have to decide if you want to open a long position or a short position as you can see down here in this case i want to open a long position so i'm going to click here on the leverage and then I can choose between cross or isolate. It doesn't really matter. It would only matter if you have different positions in different trading pairs opened. Your margin would be calculated across all these different positions if you choose cross. But if you, in my case, I only use one trading pair and I would always recommend you just use isolated. It's more simple and it doesn't really matter if you only have one position and one trading pair opened. So let's just leave that on isolated. And now we can set our leverage. As you can see, we can choose between a 1x and a 125x leverage. In this case, I'm just gonna start at the beginning just for demonstration with a very short leverage, for example, a 5x leverage. So five times our own capital will equal the position size. All right, let's click on confirm. You can see we have $150 deposited and we can now choose um, the position type. Um, so you can choose a limit order that you could set a certain price at which you want your long position to be open. We could say, for example, at uh, $46,000. And then if we type that in here, then once the price is reached, then our long position will be executed. But I would always recommend you, and it's much easier just choose market order. And then as you can see, BBO, that just means we're gonna choose, it's gonna choose automatically the best price that's available right now, and we're gonna enter the market immediately. So let's leave that on market right here. So we're gonna enter the market immediately. And now we can choose our position size. So as you can see, we can choose between contracts and BTC. It's just a different measurement. It doesn't really matter. 100 contracts is I think 0.001 Bitcoin. But let's just go for Bitcoin. It's more easy to, to calculate and to see how big the position is actually gonna be. All right, so as you can see down here, we can also see already what our maximum position size can be with our available balance times five would equal a position size of, uh, let me calculate it, like 750 US dollar. And this would be around 0.016 BTC. 
Um, and now we can choose how much of our percent uh, of your available balance you want to use. For example, you can choose, for example, 50% of that. And this would mean our position size would be 0 0.008 BTC. And we are going to use 74 US dollar tether of our own balance. So that's how all of that is calculated right here. Um, so in this case, let's actually just go for 100%. So we're going to, our position size will be what we have seen down here, the 0 0.016 Bitcoin. And we're going to use around 150 US dollar tether of our own balance. It doesn't always match exactly that amount because it's always gonna, it's try, gonna try to make a, an even BTC amount. Um, so, but just let's leave it at here. And now we can also add a long um, take profit and stop loss. So we're gonna click on that right here. And now we can type in a take profit and a stop loss where we want them to be. So let's just look at the market right here. Let's say we want our take profit to be at um, around 48,000. So let's gonna, we're gonna just gonna type that in right here. And um, our stop loss, we want it to be at, let's say uh, $46,000. Then as you can see, it automatically calculates our profit and loss. So if we're gonna take profit, it's gonna be hit at $48,000. We're gonna have an estimated profit of $26. And if our take uh, stop loss is gonna be hit at like um, $46,000, we're gonna have an estimated loss of around $6. Obviously, if you adjust your leverage up here, these numbers are gonna increase. For example, if we're gonna say, all right, let's not make it a 5X leverage, let's actually make it, for example, like a, a 35X leverage, and then we click on confirm. Now, as you can see, these numbers are much higher. Now our profit would be $167 and our loss, if this price is gonna be hit, is gonna be $40. So you can adjust that by um, choosing a different leverage right here to see how much profit or loss you will make. All right, so let's go back to 5X just to show you how it's gonna work. Let's click on confirm. And now we're ready to open the position. So let's go down here and click on buy long. Then we can see again, we can check everything is right, take profit, stop loss, and then we can just click on confirm. And now our position is opened. All right, so to see our open position right now, we have to scroll down a little bit. And now we're gonna check out this part right here where we can see all the important information about our opened position. Let's start right here on the left. We can see it's a BTC USDT trade. We have a 5X leverage. It's a long position. This is the entire position size, which is 0 0.016 BTC. We can see our position margin. So this is how much of our own capital we have put into that position, which is 148 US dollar tether. And obviously if you take that amount times five would equal this position size in Bitcoin. Right next to it, we have our entry price. So this is where we entered the position. And right next to it, we have our estimated liquidation price. So this means if we would not have set a stop loss and our position would be going this much into the negative, that our, all of our own capital would be basically gone. So our entire position is down $150. The position will be closed automatically and we're gonna use all of our margin if we don't have a stop loss. Obviously this won't happen right now because we have a stop loss, but if we would not have one, our position would be stopped out at $37,000 and then we would lose all of our own capital. It's very important to know you can lose your entire position, whatever leverage you're using, you can lose more than your own capital that you can see right here. This is basically the most amount you can lose if you don't have a stop loss and you're gonna lose all of that at that price. So just keep that in mind. Right next to it, right here, we can see our profit or loss. In this case, it's, it's of course, it changes as the price moves. It's now 0.03%, which is like, yeah, okay, right now it's like 12 cents, but this obviously moves as the price goes up and down. Here you can see your realized profit and loss. So for example, if you take something out, you close half of your position, you take some profits or take some losses, you can see that right here. One other thing I wanna show you is how you can adjust your take profit or stop loss. If you don't have one yet, you could go right here to the right and for example, if you didn't add one, once you open your position, you can add them, add it right here. If you click on take profit and stop loss right here, or if you already have one opened and you want to adjust it, for example, change the numbers a little bit, you can simply go here and click on take profit and stop loss. And there you can see your take profit and stop loss and you can add it right here. You click on that and there you can see that's your take profit, that's your stop loss. And I could say, for example, all right, let's actually move that a little bit higher. I want to close it at like, let's say $52,000. And then you can see my profit changes. And I want to make my stop loss a little bit down. 
to 45 and then you can see again that that will be my estimated loss and my estimated profit once these prices are going to be hit and then i can just click on confirm and as you can see it has already changed you can of course also get rid of your stop loss and take profit if you just click on revoke right here and then you don't have them anymore all right so lastly i want to show you how you can actually close your position so we're just going to go back here to our open position as you can see we have a little bit like 50 cents of profit right now so if you want to close your position right now and take that profit you simply go here and here you can now say at what price you want to close you could just use instant close and it's going to close your entire position but in this case i'm going to show you some other features too so here you could type in a price where you want to close or you can just click on this right here and it will again perform a market order and it will close your position immediately so just click on that little flash icon right here and then um, it will close your position immediately at the current market price and now that's also a very nice feature now you can choose how much of your per, um, how much of your position you want to close for example you could say 50 percent 25 percent 75 percent if you only want to close half of the position and take half of your profit right here um, yeah so that's also something very nice you can click on close and then you can later on close the entire position the rest of it um, but in this case, I just want to secure all of my profits. So let's go for 100%. So I want to close the entire position and then I can just click here on close long. I can, you can, you can see again, it's going to close. That's the amount I'm going to close. This was my in initial entire position size. And then I can just click on confirm and that's already it. Don't forget to create an account on MEXC by using the link down from the video description. So you will get to this page right here and you can follow all the steps as I showed them. And you're also able to pick up all these nice bonuses right here. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments.